Hi, welcome to the review of the new Magic Goal update releasing in a few days. We are going to see the best features added in the release. First of all, we're going to see the pull push. Uh, we have added the option once we click on the pull push and we select the curve. So right now you can see that the direction of the pull push is slightly different. So right now we are following the normals of the surface instead of always going in the in the same axis. So that's going to be a, a huge improvement. We can also change the depth in here with a, with a slider. Okay, we have also added in the manufacturing tab two new tools that we already had, but we made dynamic. Those are the finger hole support and the sprue dynamic. We also kept the, the old ones in there. So let's start with the finger hole support. So once clicking here, it will automatically appear in the dynamic command. So we don't have to go uh, if we don't want to um, with, the, with the command bar. So you can use the interface or directly move all the points in there in, in the viewport. So I can do something like that, add a new point and create all the fingers that I want and I need. And right now it's a dynamic command. So if I validate that, it will keep in there so I can anytime edit again okay, and make the, the modifications that I, that I want to do. So huge improvement in here. Also, we have the sprue dynamic, so more or less same functionality that we had before, but with the interface and the option to, to keep editing. So I'm going to click the ring that I have in here. There we go. Now we have the entire interface in here, so we can change the, the base style and anything that we could change before. Okay, so the offset, anything. as and as before, after validating, it will keep uh, as a dynamic command. So anytime I can come back, I can edit and modify anything that that I want. Okay, right now let's go to the rendering tab. So in here we added uh, a new uh, materials. So I'm gonna go to Render Studio and in here we added two new categories. These are render met metals and render gems. So we've added eight new render metals and four new render gems. What's the difference, the biggest difference um, with these materials compared to the old gems and the old metals? So for instance, these new metals and gems are with the main purpose of rendering mainly only for rendering so this won't update the weights or anything that we have on the on the document so only for rendering purposes so by default these new materials can be spotted in here this show render materials tab so we can just activate or deactivate them and in here we have also these uh, other nodes uh, render materials are for rendering purposes only and may not support metal weight, gems map, check, uh, check report, gem report properties on some editions in, in Rhino. Okay, so just make sure that you, you remember that. They have also, the, the gems have also a big new property that if they are touching with metal, uh, it won't affect the, the rendering result. So that's that's huge. Okay. Uh, right now we've also see the, let me hide everything, the new gem cuts that we've added. So when we go to the gem, in here, in the rose cut, we've added three new shapes that by default the oval. We've added the oval, the round flat, and also the round peak. And any of them are working with our uh, usual commands that needs a uh, gem as an input, for instance, the bezel or the head. So we can use head right now with this, uh, with these new cuts and we can edit them 
and they will be automatically re recalculated. Okay, so that's it. That's uh, the review of the new release notes that we will see very, very soon on the new Matrix Gold update. Thank you.